The Voice adds a new rule for blind auditions, which might be one of the craziest changes yet. The premiere of season 26 aired last night, Monday, September 23, and it was an episode to remember. Season 26 of The Voice aired last night on NBC, and there is lots to discuss. The singing competition is a hit series known for its unique judging. This is because the judges choose based on the voice of the performer, rather than the appearance. The coaches all face away from the performer and towards the audience. Additionally, they only get to turn around when they decide they want to add the singer to their team. However, it seems this might not be the case in all instances this season. Season 26 shows two new judges along with two returners. When Stephanie and Reba McIntyre are returning and have only been judges on the same season once before. Additionally, Michael Bubel and Snoop Dogg, the bromance everyone has been waiting for, are first-time coaches. Since the series is in its 26th season, the show has added certain twists to keep the show from seeming boring to fans and performers. In a previous season, a block was introduced. When a coach pressed to block a coach, the performer would be unable to choose that coach for a team. Coaches can use this block along with other tricks to help them secure a win. They are also allowed to use steals and saves. Thus, hoping the tools help their team to survive the battle rounds, knockouts, playoffs, and live performances. A new trick has been added for the coaches this season, but does this trick take away from the appeal of the show? During the season premiere of The Voice last night, the host, Carson Daly, told the coaches, When the audition is over, you have a second chance to go back and get that eridist by pressing your button. This new trick for the coaches is called the replay button. Furthermore, this means that even if the coach did not turn their chair during the performance, even if other coaches did, they still have a chance. NBC shared exactly how this will work in a few points. They began by saying, an artist performs their blind audition and a coach doesn't turn for them. Additionally, the explanation states, all chairs turn to meet the artist. The artist shares a little of their story. If a coach who didn't originally turn feels compelled by the artist after meeting them, they can use their coach replay button to try and get them. This power cannot be used over and over again. The coaches must be very careful about when they press their replay button because they only have one replay button each during the blinds. Furthermore, unless surprises are in store later this season, the coach replay button seems to only be available during blind auditions and not later stages of the competition. Moreover, Dally told the coaches to use it carefully. Snoop Dogg seemed to be the most excited about the button. He expressed how he is a real coach in real life, so I like to replay and see what I've done right or wrong. Snoop then added, so the replay makes a lot of sense. However, does the replay make a lot of sense? It is very good for the coaches and potentially good for some players, but does it go against the purpose of the voice? The most the button can be used is four times in total with four coaches, so it is unable to cause too much harm. Moreover, the point of the singing competition is to judge solely on the voice of the performer and not the appearance. When this replay button is used, it can arguably take away that aspect. This is a way for a hopeful to get back in, but a coach might save it because the singer is not the right look they want to add to their team. This button doesn't seem to be about the voice anymore. Additionally, it seems to be about the story and appearance which can be a positive as well as a negative. As one of the most beloved singing competition shows on television, the voice continues to evolve and captivate audiences season after season. Known for its unique blind audition format, where judges turn their chairs for contestants based solely on vocal performance, the voice is all about the purity of talent. With each season bringing fresh talent, compelling stories, and surprising twists, season 24 of the show is no exception. Now, the hit NBC show has introduced a new rule that adds an extra layer of excitement, drama, and strategy to the blind auditions, leaving both contestants and coaches on the edge of their seats. In this article, we'll explore the specifics of this new rule, how it changes the dynamics of the blind auditions, and what it means for the coaches and contestants moving forward. Before diving into the new rule, it's essential to understand the premise of The Voice and its blind auditions. Unlike other singing competitions, The Voice puts emphasis on, well, The Voice. 
The blind addition set the stage for this unique approach by having the coaches' chairs turned away from the performers. The judges make their decisions solely based on what they hear, not what they see. If a coach is impressed by a singer's vocal ability, they hit a button to turn their chair around, signaling their desire to mentor that contestant. If more than one coach turns, the power shifts to the contestant, who must then decide which coach they want to work with. It's a moment filled with anticipation and excitement as contestants receive real-time validation based purely on their voice, and coaches battle to fill their teams with the best talent. The blind auditions are a cornerstone of The Voice and have produced many unforgettable moments. However, with the introduction of this new rule, Season 24 is set to make the process even more intense. In an exciting move, The Voice has unveiled a new rule for the blind auditions in Season 24, known as the Double Turn. This rule adds a layer of unpredictability and strategy that could dramatically alter the outcome of the auditions, giving both contestants and coaches more to think about as they navigate the show. When a coach hits their button and turns their chair for a contestant, they now have the option to initiate a double turn by turning another coach's chair without their knowledge. This twist allows the initiating coach to force another coach into the mix, even if that coach hadn't intended to turn their chair in the first place. The double turn option adds a new element of surprise and competition, as coaches can now strategically force their colleagues to compete for a contestant or even stir up tension among the judges. The introduction of the double turn has significant implications for the dynamics of the show, creating ripple effects for the coaches, contestants, and viewers. Let's break down how it will affect each part of the process. The rivalry between the coaches has always been one of the most entertaining aspects of The Voice. They often engage in light-hearted banter, friendly competition, and occasionally, full-on battles to convince contestants to join their team. With the double turn, this competition is about to heat up even more. Imagine this scenario. John Legend turns his chair for a contestant he absolutely wants on his team, but then decides to activate the double turn and forces Gwen Stefani into the battle. Gwen may not have initially been interested in the contestant, but now she's in the game, potentially competing against John for the singer. This rule not only heightens the stakes, but it also gives the coaches more opportunities to mess with each other's strategies. Additionally, coaches can now deploy the double turn to play mind games or outmaneuver their rivals. For instance, a coach could use the double turn to prevent another coach from focusing on a different contestant or simply to shake things up during the audition process. This added layer of competition could lead to some explosive moments both on stage and off, as coaches react to being pulled into auditions against their will. For contestants, the double turn introduces a new twist in the already high-pressure moment of having to choose a coach. Normally, if two or more chairs turn, contestants listen to the coaches make their pitches and then select who they want to work with. But with the double turn, a contestant could suddenly find themselves with an unexpected array of coaches vying for their attention, leading to even tougher choices. Imagine being a singer who has prepared for months, only to step on stage and have a coach you never thought would turn for you suddenly in the mix. For example, you may have envisioned working with Reba McIntyre, but thanks to the double turn, you now have to consider whether Niall Horan might be a better fit. Contestants will have to think on their feet and navigate the unexpected, making the audition process more nerve-wracking but also more exciting. The double turn introduces a new strategic element for the coaches as well. While coaches will still need to trust their instincts and turn their chairs when they hear a voice they like, the double turn gives them an extra tool in their toolkit for building their teams. Coaches who may have been more conservative in the past, only turning for a limited number of singers, may now be emboldened to use the double turn to expand their roster or block a rival coach from snagging a top-tier contestant. Conversely, some coaches might use the double turn more sparingly, reserving it for when they want to throw off a competitor's strategy. With this added layer of complexity, the blind auditions could become more strategic than ever before, as coaches carefully consider when and how to deploy this new option. As soon as the announcement of the double turn was made, fans took to social media to share their thoughts on the new rule. Many fans are excited about the potential for added drama and unpredictability, while others are curious to see how the coaches will use the double turn to their advantage.
Longtime fans of the show are particularly eager to see how the coaches, some of whom have been on the show for multiple seasons, will adapt to this change. Will they embrace it and start double turning their colleagues left and right? Or will they be more cautious, saving the double turn for key moments? Of course, there are also fans who are a bit skeptical, concerned that the double turn could disrupt the purity of the blind editions. After all, part of what has made The Voice so special is that initial, unbiased decision based solely on vocal performance. Will the double turn affect that dynamic in a meaningful way, or will it simply add to the excitement?